What's up everyone, Cordy Cox here with Celtics Now, and it's that time of the year when things start really revving up in the NBA. We'll talk what's going on all around the league. Yes, that includes Spike Lee, but we kick things off with the Celtics. After two losses in a row, including a tough one against the Nets, the Seas took on the Cavs in Cleveland on Wednesday night and came up with a big W, 112 to 106 on the road. Leading the way was who else but Jason Tatum, who's been lighting things up recently. He had 32 points, nine rebounds, and six assists on the night. Other guys that had points in the double digits, Marcus Smart, Semi Ojale, who did leave the court before halftime after taking a knee to the groin, but he did return, and Ennis Cantor with a double-double, 10 points and 11 rebounds. And let's talk injuries. Before the Celtics matchup in Cleveland, the injury report had fans going, oh, and then, oh no. Let's start with the oh. Jason Tatum was upgraded to probable after battling an illness and missed that Celtics loss to the Nets on Tuesday. But then Kemba Walker still out with left knee rehab and that Tuesday loss hurt more than just the Celtics win-loss column. Gordon Hayward has a bruised right knee and Jalen Brown has a right hamstring strain. After that game, we heard from Kemba and Gordon on their road back to the court. Yeah, I mean, just got rolled up on there and wasn't aware that it was going to happen, so just kind of pushed my knee back. But I, mean, I think it'll be fine. Just going to be sore for a little bit. Do you intend on traveling or are you out for the Future. Yeah, I think out for right now yeah. certainly is a, definitely sore and, you know, just take it day by day. You know, obviously I miss five, five straight, so, um, you know, still got to get my rhythm back, my timing back and everything like that. So but I felt good today. I mean, for me, of course, it's tough with the restriction because um, I want to be out there with my teammates. Now let's take a look at the teams we have on deck if these guys are missing Friday. The Celtics welcome the Jazz. The Thunder are in Boston on Sunday before the Seas head to Indiana to take on the Pacers on Tuesday and the number one Bucks on Thursday. Now, reminder, the Celtics are 1-1 one one in games against the Bucks so far this season, so this should be an interesting matchup. Now let's go around the league, shall we? Like I said, the Bucks lead the NBA right now with a 53-9 record, but two of those losses have come from the Miami Heat, and they've proved that they are not to be messed with. Sitting at number four in the East, the Heat is the only team that have beaten the Bucks twice this season. They held Giannis and company to under 100 points in their matchup this week and held the Greek freak himself to a season low 13 points. And then in New York, we have a whole scandal going on between the Knicks and Spike Lee. Spike has been a season ticket holder for 30 years with the Knicks and happens to use the employee entrance when going into Madison Square Garden. Well, James Dolan is having none of it. Security tried to stop Lee. Lee got mad. There was this press release and weird photo of Dolan and Lee shaking hands. And now Lee has vowed to boycott the team for the rest of the season, holding true to his word during Wednesday night's game when two guys neither by the name of Spike Lee were in his courtside seats. The Knicks lost that game to the Jazz 112 to 104. And the NBA is taking coronavirus precautions with its players, telling them to hold back from taking anything to sign autographs or giving high fives to fans, with the outbreak seemingly taking over everyone's news feeds. A memo was sent from the league to its players and covered everything from symptoms to how to protect yourself. Back to the Celtics we go. Social media gave us a cute picture of a young Jason Tatum. I mean, to me, he's still young, but he's another year older. So happy 22nd birthday to a guy who's showing us just what he's made of this season. And tennis legend John McEnroe took in a C's game this past week and hung out with Gordon Hayward and Taco Fall. Pretty cool. But when it comes to social media, it goes to Marcus Smart this week, who made a young fan's night who recently lost his mom. Yeah, Alright, that will do it.
it for me. Thanks so much for tuning in. Reminder, the next time you can see the C's in action at the TD Garden is Friday at 8 p.m. against the Jazz. See you next week. Bye, guys.